Hey folks, so I just recently tried my 3D printing hands at making a vase and I want to talk about how to slice something for a vase mode and then get it set up here. You can see this is the design that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's from Sassy Design on Printables. It's great. This designer has lots of really cool like pots and vase things. Uh, but one of the things that kind of struck me when we look at this is that it's a solid model. It's not a vase in the traditional sense. How to make it a vase, you have to do it inside of your slicing software. So I have three different slicing softwares here. I have, uh, this is uh, Anchor Makes One, I have Orca Slicer, and then I have Bamboo Labs. They're all based on the exact same software. They're just kind of forks of each other. So the process here is the exact same with one exception. I'm gonna talk about Anchor Make here in a second. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look here at uh, Bamboo Slicer first. Uh, on the left-hand side, you're gonna go over to Others, and then once you're in others mode, you wanna change it to spiral vase underneath special mode. Basically what that's gonna do is gonna allow us to change a couple of settings and it's gonna do it automatically for us. So we're gonna select this button and you can see that it's gonna change a whole bunch of settings. For spiral mode to work, uh, you can only have one wall loop. It's gonna get rid of support. Uh, it's gonna get rid of top layers, uh, set them to zero. Uh, it's gonna have zero infill uh, and then uh, the time lapse is traditional, whatever. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit yes. And then we can go into preview and uh, we'll see that it takes a little while to slice up, but you can see that solid model now has been removed and we are left with just the outside walls. It's only one wall thickness. We take a look here and it's only one wall thickness and then it has its bottom layer here. Uh, taking a look at the print time on my A1 mini uh, for this uh, total time is an hour and a half to print this particular model. Jumping over to Orca Slicer, it's the exact same thing. You can see that this again is uh, set up as a solid model. All we're going to do is go over to Others, click and find uh, down here under Special Mode. We'll go into Spiral Vase, hit Yes. And then once we do that, uh, we can go over to Preview and slice this bad boy up. Again, same exact thing uh, on my Flash Forge M5 or 5M, excuse me. Uh, that is going to be an hour and 31 minute print. So it's slightly faster than the bamboo, but we can see all the stuff. And these little blue highlights are areas where, in theory, it's an overhang. It should be fine, but uh, that's an area where the software will automatically highlight the overhang. Now, taking a look at Anchor Make stuff here, uh, the first thing we have to do is they have just dummy versions of this, fast, normal, and precision, uh, but it doesn't give you full control. Basically, these just influence the speed of the print. Uh, we're gonna jump it over into expert mode. Uh, and then we have to do some things here. Uh, so for quality, uh, we can look here and make sure that everything's set, um, but that's not really where we're at. We gotta go over any strength. We're gonna change it to one wall loop. You can actually do it with more here. Uh, it's not a big deal. We'll change the infill over to zero. Uh, and this is because when we go into spiral mode, it does not change this stuff for you. You have to kind of do it yourself. Uh, so I'll set the top shells at zero and then I can go over into other and then we'll find uh, where it's at here. Uh, you have to kind of scroll around and look for what it is, but you see spiral vase under special mode. Uh, we'll go in and select that. And then when we slice it, it's gonna go through, do its thing. And we should get a pop up here. Uh, this one's gonna take two hours and seven minutes to print on the anchor make with its default uh, settings. And you can see that it sliced it up just beautifully. And we can see all of the individual layer lines as we move on down here. Let's see. So we're just gonna take a look here very quickly at that. And then we can kind of scroll through and see where the printer's at for this. So basically it's just going around and it's doing the entire thing. And then it will slowly move up a layer so it's gonna go all the way here, then I'll move up one layer and it will go through and do the next thing. And you can see the results. It's a really nice print. Uh, this one's awesome. I'm really excited to try making some vases and kind of just playing with it, uh, especially now that I know that I don't have to worry about hollowing it out. I can design it as a solid piece and then go through and use the spiral mode uh, to go in and to get it set and ready to roll for everything. Uh, you can see that it printed very nicely. I did have a little bit of a jam up towards the end there. So there's a couple little uh, weird spots on the print itself. But overall, I'm really happy and this model is awesome. Again, that's Sassy Design. It'll be linked down below. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you have any problems with uh, Spiral Mode, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.